Oh, it's been great. I mean, uh, it's been definitely quick, but I'm excited to start. What goes into a season where you and Joffrey can combine for 42 goals, and, and what would you like to do to maybe expand on that and, and maybe get a bit better this time around? Yeah, I mean, well, we obviously have some chemistry, and um, you know, just really uh, staying healthy is going to be a, a huge part of this team's success. And obviously we saw last year with when things got wrong, guys started to get hurt, and that's where uh, things kind of fell apart a little bit. So, I mean, if we can stay healthy, there's, there's really uh, you know, no ceiling to this team. What do you expect out of yourself this year? You're no longer really a young guy on the team. There's other guys that will be younger. Uh, what do you expect of yourself? More leadership? More, more yeah. what? Uh, definitely. I mean, I'm obviously st still con consider myself a young guy. I'm, I mean, I'm only 23, but uh, you know, each year I'm learning more and more, and, and just getting more ma mature, and, and just learning from the older guys. I think that's really uh, what it's all about. Is kind of you know feeling it out and, and just getting getting the hang of things. And they've done a great job. I think we've, we've gotten some acquisitions that are just going to help that dressing room out even more. So. I mean, every single year, I'm, I'm just learning more and more. What does your team have to do differently? I mean, last year you gave up a lot of shots on goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's that's probably one of the one of the biggest things is you know keep the keep the puck at our, our end, and you know a lot of shots were coming from the perimeter, which we did it, which we did an okay job at. And I mean, burning rhymes are going to stop those shots nine times out of ten. So obviously, you want to limit those shots and. And, and stay healthy and, and just try and probably get some more puck position. Does the addition of a Polak and, and Robida help the team better as a five-man group in the defensive zone and perhaps in the big picture cutting back on the shots on goal and getting you guys the other way quicker? Without a doubt. I mean, uh, Robida is a great skater. He's a great puck mover. Uh, he's a great defenseman and um, you know, so is Polak. I think those are great, great, great acquisitions and um, you know, just two guys that can really move the puck up the ice and and you know, help generate offense by getting the puck into the forwards' hands, and not to mention helping out our younger defensemen, who, who uh, you know, I think could definitely learn from the older guys. Do bring a bit of leadership as well to this team? For sure. I mean, that's you know, previously what I talked about is having those guys in the dressing room and just being able to, um, you know, kind of mold everything together. So I, I think that's uh, you know, really what we have to look for is everyone just you know, stay together and, and just believe in ourselves and. I definitely know everyone does. What do you think of the additions in the front office with uh, Kyle and Brandon? And like the analytics kind of stuff, do you pay attention much to that? Um, not too much. I mean, I, I can only really control what I control, and that's, that's my play on the ice and how I work in the offseason. So, I mean, obviously, um, you know, Shanahan's got a great resume, and, and, you know, he's won Stanley Cups, and, and that's never a bad thing to bring that into an organization, especially like Toronto. And, um, you know, I think as far as... You know, uh, all the other moves, I think it's, it's definitely going to help. I know they know each other a little bit, so um, no, I'm not really involved with that. I just kind of try and play it. Play game. Not certain where Matt Fratton's going to end up, but uh, what worked with you and he, Marley's Maple Leafs, that might get a chance to work again this time around? Yeah, it's great to have him back. Um, you know, I know, um, you know it's just some teams that you fit in well with than, than others, and I think that's really what... Uh, you know, Friday was all about. He, he kind of got bounced around a couple times, and um, you know, he's still a heck of a player. I mean, you could tell just skating in the summer. I mean, he's got he's got the speed, and when he's on his game, he's physical. So he's a very versatile, versatile player, and and you know he can move up and down the lineup, whether it's first line, second line, all the way down to the fourth. So who knows?